Hey everybody, it's the mayor and welcome back to my series on the Throwback Network from Try Hack Me. In our last video, we talked about the initial exploitation of the PFSense firewall uh, in the .138 machine in the Try Hack Me network. Uh, I also talked about being able to create a bit of persistence uh, using the PFSense dashboard and some of its additional functionality. So if you're able to log in as an admin, oftentimes you're going to have access to user management on the underlying machine. So if we come up here to system, we click on that and come down to user manager, you're going to see what I'm talking about. So here we see we have two usernames available through the PFSense firewall. We have admin and EC2 user. Now EC2 user is going to be something to do with uh, the uh, virtual network itself, and it does not pertain to this challenge. However, we do see we have the admin user here. Additionally, we have an add button. So if we go ahead and hit add, we can create a user and make them an admin through PFSense that we can then use to access the underlying machine. So uh, we're just going to go with the mayor here, and then we'll add a password of our choice. And then you have to confirm that password. And then we can scroll down and you see group memberships. So if we click admin and move to member of the list, what we're essentially doing is creating an admin user. And finally, we see authorized SSH keys. So at this point in the challenge, we can go ahead and cat or look at what our idrsa.pub file is for our local users SSH keys. And we can copy and paste it into this box here and then hit the save button. And what this will do is it will upload our public key into the authorized keys file uh, on the host machine. So let's go ahead and do that quick. So I have an older version of Kali, so my SSH key is gonna be in my root directory. If you're using a newer 2020.1 or after version of Kali, uh, it's most likely gonna be in whatever user you created. So if we cd to .ssh and we lsla, You'll see that we have authorized keys, public key, uh, but what we're after is idrsa.pub. So if we cat our public key and we look at this value, what we can do now is copy this and we come over here and we can paste it inside of the authorized SSH keys. And essentially what we're doing is we're instructing uh, the remote machine to see our public key as it's trusted uh, on the host. So if we hit save, let me just hit don't save here. You can see that we've created the mayor user. So now if we come over here and we SSH the mayor at 10.200.3.138, you can see that we successfully log into the machine. If we ID, uh, you see that we're the mayor user and we're in this group admins. Now, this doesn't really matter for us too much. Um, however, so if we cat and we uh, do etc passwords. We can see the other users here. And in this case, we see we have root and we have tour. So on this machine, root's not going to be something we can access, but we have this tour user uh, that's also a super user that we can try. So uh, if we sudo su tour, and we use our password that we created, you can see that we can successfully access the root user. This is going to be important a little bit later as we continue through the challenge and through some of our persistence operations. But for now, this is how we can use an additional method to grab access to the throwback system and the, uh, the firewall hosts specifically, uh, and then be able to continue our operations, our enumeration and exploitation from here. So I hope this additional opportunity to exploit this machine was helpful for you, and I'll see you again in the next video. Thank you. Take care.